How's it going, Jude? How are you doing, Jude? Is that any better? Yes, it worked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, um, it's it's so really silly. My microphone has this little button on the front, and for some weird reason, I don't always have to push the button, but I had to push the button, and the lights blew. Everything, all the lights and stuff are working, but all I did was push the button, and it started to work. So I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Something so simple, but it's you know I'm unplugging and plugging in things and restarting my computer, and oh. <laughs> turning things off and on, and it was just a button. <laughs> oh, the stress. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shall we just start? I mean, I don't. Let's kick off. Okay, yep. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce the show, and part of it is tipples, so um, I'm going to ask you what you guys are tippling on, and you can just, just don't use any brand names, you can be as creative with how you describe the drink, I mean, you can say whiskey, or, you know, you can say gin and tonic, you can say white wine, but just don't say any brand names, and because that's part of the show, the tipples part, <laughs> and if you're not tippling, that's okay, too. <laughs> Oh, great. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jude Matalich Hall, and this is a special edition of Titles Talk and Tipples. We're going international to Godalming, oops, I'll edit that, <laughs> to Godalming, England. All right, so tell me, um, I'm not, there's no plan for this. There are no absolute questions. Just come on in, David. We've started. I finally have sound working whenever you can. Come on in. All right. Yeah, can you hear me? We can hear you. We just can't see you. Oh, I can't see me. <laughs> but it's working. It's okay. <laughs> so hey, there's, hold on. Hold on. There you are. Hey. <laughs> David Young, everybody. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, I'm writing under the name David Lauver. Very good. I'm uh, sorry. I haven't been anywhere. I've just, well, I'm. Look, I'm technologically challenged. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. But anyway, I'm here now. You're here. That's what counts. <laughs> yeah, I, I think there's always technical challenges. Mine was just a button, the push of a button. That's all I needed to do. But it took me forever to figure that out. <laughs> I did skip this part, even though I meant to. I was even saying that I was going to do it. Um, the part of titles, talk, and tipples is we talk about the titles of books um, being writers, we can do that plenty. Um, the talking is obvious, but there's also the tippling. And so that's part of this too. So what are, is, are each of you tippling on this evening? <laughs> right. This is called Cornish beer. And it's delicious. And I try and have as few as possible, but <laughs> I'll definitely finish a full pint tonight. Excuse me. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so I'm sorry, David, you weren't here when I said you can't use brand names. <laughs> oh, beg your pardon. Yeah. So I'm going to have you, I'm going to have you do that again. <laughs> I'll have to edit right, that well, out. <laughs> okay. Edit that out. I'm sorry yeah. about that. No, that's okay. You weren't here. I forgot. To I understand mind. what you're saying. Right. <laughs> and um, so out of curiosity, um, what's the name of the pub you like to go to? <laughs> Excuse me. It's called the Beef Eater. The beefy because it's it's not just a pub; it's a restaurant that serves rotten. Well, in my opinion, not very good food. But <laughs> it's beer. It's beer is very nice. It's either this or a glass of wine, usually. Yeah. Although I've been known to experiment otherwise. Yep. Yeah. Really. <laughs> that sounds well, see, and that's that's where I got the idea for the show was. I was, I, I'm nervous. And when I first started, I was very nervous about doing this show. And I was like, so how am I going to deal with the nerves? And I was like, wait a second, there are no rules. I can do whatever I want to on my show. So we're going to drink. And I'm not a heavy drinker either, but you know, a nice sip is great for the nerves. <laughs> and so, um, and then the idea came up was that I would normally, I'm very experimental and I drink whatever my guests are drinking but I'm not going to sit here and drink an ale, a gin and tonic. <laughs> so <laughs> when, it's a, when it's a bigger group like this, we just drink what we want. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, every once in a while, I will experiment too. <laughs> Don't forget that the, the wealth of Britain is based on the working men and women of South Wales, the Midlands and the North of England. They made Britain what it is. 
Now, all the people in the South are living off that. Mm. That's the feeling that people have. I'm not saying that that's what I believe, but yeah. that's the feeling they have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guess where David comes from. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, I do think from an industrial part, it's true. <laughs> I think my favourite one actually is a revenge story that I wrote. Oh, that was great! Yes, you're right. <laughs> for nostalgia games, where you have two women that meet accidentally at, at the beginning of the inaugural Godalming half marathon, and it's a dialogue-only story. Oh, the only one I've ever done. So you've got no description. All you've got all the way through is just dialogue. And they start off discussing their school lives together. And you get a slight feeling there was a little bit of a frisson about this boy that they were at school with. And then they just chat generally as they go around. And then towards the end of the mar half marathon, this woman that lives in the present area in Godalming um, says how he's, she's met this boy that came back after all those years ago and she now has this wonderful relationship with him and she tells her the other woman all about how fantastic he is anyway to cut a bit of a story short they go back to have tea and sh this woman shows the photographs of her with this lovely fella that she's got and she's she doesn't see that much because he works away from home so much and then the other woman the one that had moved out of town. So oh, I've just got to go to my car, goes and gets a rope. She binds up the, the first woman and then informs her that this guy, this Peter, was her husband for 10 years oh, wow. and that she was pregnant, lost her baby when she fell down the stairs when she discovered that he was having this affair and they trapped this woman down. <laughs> So she takes her off, she, she's going to take her off and put her in somewhere where the concrete's going to be pulled down into a flyover for the next step. Uh, oh, right. Oh, thing. goodness. So that's Sounds my favourite. Like Chicago <laughs> gangster. <laughs>